<coughs> Next time I weaken, I'm lying in such a cake. Age. It seems I was carried out to the test of the test chamber. The download of zero to four feedback data is about to begin. The researchers seem to have taken my sudden loss of consciousness seriously. I am confined in the cage instead of sitting in the usual maintenance chair. The researcher keep repeating the word interesting. Mm. So this is how they react when experimental stress is include is induced. I can't hear their voice clearly. It seems to derive laser from the fact that I lost consciousness due to mental stress rather than physical damage. Cables are connected to my body one after another. The data downloads begin. All of 0 to 4 information from that data, files record, and the memories experience. All of it flows into me. <coughs> my eyes widen in surprise. Everything is so vibrant. It is so clear that it is indistinguishable from actual experience them. This is the first time I have received memory with such vivid image. All of the images are laid to record of the emotions I felt in relation to them. They are so strongly linked that my screening protocols cannot distinguish them from human talk. The other area where we spent time. Big tree whose branch we examined. That sounds of water we heard periodically. No e playing around. As I relieve zero to four experience, pick up on an unfamiliar voice. There is no associate image data. Only the voice can be heard. It is a female voice. There is a female researcher at this facility, but this voice belongs to a younger person still in human developmental stage. I know the world is a big place, and I know that there's a lot of people in it, but I won't be able to see it for myself, or meet many of them. I know that too. I'm too weak for that. Speech is different from the researcher, or from those of my unit time. It is very similar to my own speech output. Thinking about it has made me sad more than once. But I didn't want to do nothing and be left with regrets. That was when my mom and dad looked into some options. And we decided to go with this experiment. If even a sick girl like me could make herself useful to others in this world, I thought I ought to go for it. Let this be. Not only that, she is female. She is in a situation where her condition prevents her from moving freely. Even that instead of lamenting that fact, she had decided to volunteer for an experiment of some kind. Where did Zero to Four hear this voice? Do you know this person? I wish I could ask her, but that is no longer possible. At first, I kept wondering how much I could really contribute. But after hearing more and more about the program, I started to wonder about the others more than myself. Other is a strange. But when I hear that, I thought zero to four heart waver. Was she surprised? Perhaps even I feel something unexplainable. And yeah, my big wish is to make myself useful to this world. But the ones born from me... Is born the right word for it? <laughs> kind of embarrassing. My other wish is that the ones born from me are happy. I doubt I'll be able to talk to them in person or stay with them. But I still wish from the bottom of my heart that they all have happy lives. People always have unique characteristics. In the past, I have expressed it as a variance in waveform, but each has what could be called its own texture and temperature to it. 
His voice sounds very warm and kind. I would like to listen to more of it. But the speech end there. There are no more related memory from 0 to 4. While the cable disconnect, I decided to search the archive for resulting matching that voice. Sadly, there are no results. But during the search, I suddenly remember something. The, ar ar the archive given to me by 0 to 4 last night. I quickly opened the folder and signed a single file inside. If you are reading this, then I have most likely been destroyed. It may be that you already understand the concept of guilt, but you have done nothing wrong. If you are still safe when everything is over, she must have been if I defeated her in combat. Zero to four knew what would happen to those who lost in the trial. What emotion was she feeling then? What was going through her mind as she prepared this fight? Still something wrenched inside my chest. I happened to access certain data during the feedback treatment and learned something. Artificially creating a personality from scratch is very difficult, though they hope to achieve it in two generations. But those of our model were actually made from the template of a certain girl's personality. That includes you and I. She had left a recording for the units created using her personality. A message for those of us who did not yet exist. That's what I heard. She speaks in a strange way, like you. I thought, huh, oh, you really are connected to her. Think about the unknown voice. The experiments the voice spoke of was related to her development after all. The owner of that voice was speaking to us. The one who gave birth to us loved us. When I understood that, I felt like my eyes were opened. Though my life was filled with suffering, my birth had meaning. I firmly believe that. I want to meet her. I need to tell her thank you for giving birth to us and for loving us. This was not an order from the scientists. It was an objective I made for myself. So if you can understand my feelings, I'd like you to do this in my stead. Give our mother my thanks. How oh, zero to four must have wanted to meet this girl, who she saw as our mother. She must have longed to thank the girl in person. Yeah, we didn't meet. Her heart told me so. During the time when she was ordered to destroy her sister, this wish must have been her only hope. Yet, it did not come true. Shatter it. What? Yourself said was the only one who understood her. She must have been devastated. The letter ends in the way I least expected. Though we knew each other for only a short time, I'm glad I met you. I feel the same right now as our mother did. I wish from the depths of my heart for you to be happy. I'm shocked. How can she feel that way towards someone who may one day destroy her? I realized that then the visual input from my optic experienced distortion for some unknown reason. An unfamiliar sour, an unfamiliar source of water trickled down my cheek. Labras, is she crying? So she is. I can't believe we're actually seeing a machine being driven to tears. But its mental graphs are clearly abnormal. What kind of information did it download? Who knows? That's one thing the graphs can't tell us. We should take care to limit our studies to just the battle data. <laughs> it doesn't need any sentimental memories. You can delete those. Why make a weapon so emotional that it can cry? Delete them? Something roars within me. It drowns out the feeling for zero to four, and her mother that had filled my heart. Delete! Like hell you're deleting my memories! Under no circumstance will I allow what zero to four left me to be deleted for their confidence. I will not forgive their selfishness. We have been treated callously by the researcher 
and this laboratory. They give us heart, yet may not destroy those of our unit typers enemies. We killed our sister at their command. If we refuse, our desire will overridden and we become their puppets. The wish of the girl who desire our happiness were not taken into consideration. Now, even if you memory the zero to four, my sister and I have accumulated are about to be rest like trash. What our aim is to develop our ego. They find it inconvenient for us to have real hearts. This feeling within me may be erased, perhaps even my heart itself. If that happened, will I assume killing my sister without hesitation? What is least forgivable is that the fruit that zero to four have lived, the last wishes will be permanently lost. My hands are squeezing into fists, into tight fists. They make a small grinding noise. The gold that zero to four found for herself was left to me. I will carry it out as my own now. I will burn it into my heart as my goal. It is a duty I impose on myself gladly. Nothing will make me surrender it. It must be fought for, or rather, it must be protected, even if it means fighting. What the? Its emotions are spiking into the red. I've never seen anything like this. Hey, what's that warning? No. Labrys is in battle mode? What? That can't be. There aren't any enemies. We're the only ones here. I am able to release all my limiters despite being inside the cage. The researchers monitoring me on their tablet PC seem perplexed and alarmed by this. They should be. They are witnessing an override of the principle of non-aggression toward humans. They are flustered and too panicked to speak clearly as they announce that an emergency has occurred. One of them stepped away from the cage I am in the reach. One of them stayed away from the cage I am in and reached for a switch with warning levels around it. Suddenly, a strain appeared to bind my limbs. Are you saying those mental fluctuations were enough to override the OS's restrictions? <laughs> that plume's playing pranks on us. Hey, hurry up and delete those memories. These memories in my heart are not unnecessary. What do you think we are? Something I have not felt until now. A sensation like heat spread throughout my body. A trembling, burning wave fries within me. Soon afterward, I realized that this is an emotion. There is a name for this feeling. It is anger. I root all my strength into my restraining limb. The restraint are designed to stand up to twice our calculated maximum output. Trying to escape is therefore logically doomed to failure. Even so, I continue to master my strength. It is not because I judge it a viable course of action. I am not merely executing an order. I am acting based on my emotion. It does not matter if the restraint can be destroyed or not. I wish to destroy them. Metal parts in both my limbs and the restraint begin to creak. How is it doing that? There's no way those things are strong enough to break the restraints. It's outputting over 220% of its theoretical strength limit, even though its joint actuators are operating at only 70% capacity. That's not possible. That doesn't even make any sense. What's driving this thing? I'm not gonna let you take those memories. I made her a promise! Next moment. A rupturing sound like a small explosion stakes the entire room. The heavy metal expand restraining my arms and legs shatters. I jump out of the cage and run towards the open door. I must escape from here. I have to get out and see the girl who loved us, though I were not yet created. Fulfill. Zero to four wish, which has become mine. When I entered the hallway connected to the outer area, I met with barricades and heavy artillery. Oh, oh. I haven't even got any projectile weapons! A sister unit and high have never been equipped with firearms. I recall it being due to concern over a unit's mentality affecting the accuracy of its aim. Instead, we were given short-range weaponry, a cham arm, and other implement in my cast. 
but they are not sufficient to deal with the rage of firearms. However, I do have a countermeasure. And using the flexibility and adapting to the situation of my developed mind, I dodge a complex reject of trajectories and destroy the opposition. Eventually, I reach the end of the hallway and exit to the outdoor area. I have not seen this environment before. The trees and the same species are those that grow near the facility, but the specimens are much healthier. Where am I? The question did not cross my mind until now. Where am I? Where are we? I cannot use the GPS that should be installed in me. See if the reception facility blocked GPS signal outside of its wall. This is probably to prevent its location from being pinpointed. Is there anything in the environment that can help me get to the mind of my location? The blue sky that I'm seeing for the first time is stunning but irrelevant. Then I notice a periodic sound of liquid in the distance. Ah, that is the sound of ocean. The answer comes easily to mind. One of my sisters might have taken an interest in it and learned what it was. A sister helping to keep me alive now. When I think of it that way, a burning feeling rises from deep within my chest. But none of that I see in my surroundings is helpful. Is there anything else by which I can determine my location? Any landmark or signpost? I scan my surroundings while running past. These three obstructing my view. They are a unique species. That may be a hint. I review the trees characteristic one more and run another search on them. I attempted this once already, but there is much more data available to me now. Once again, a salt come easily. This variety of trees known as cedar. It is found in many habitats, but the cedar here are unique. The tree seed and the age that it implies is so different that it is nearly a separated species. If that is because of difference in the environment, it may be useful in determination determining my location. That's when an unfamiliar sound reached my ear. A happy rumble of what sounds like a motor. It seemed they have been dispatched a vehicle to pursue me. I expected this. The response was swift. It seemed that they had measured in place and even if one of us escaped. When the vehicle stopped behind me, fully armed personal power poured out of it. They moved to surround me from both to left and right. It is an obvious response. No matter how much power I may have, I am alone. The optimal solution would be to overwhelm me with numbers. I try to shake them off by running faster. Soon afterward, I reach the main gate of the laboratory, a high steel edifice. It is tightly sealed. A number of heavily on guard are protecting it. Stop. There is nowhere else to go. Labris, come back here. You're too useful a unit to destroy. You need to get back here to be regulated. That's your role in all this. It cannot be destroyed here. But I cannot be captured either. It will surely delete my memories. It will take my desire and everything else that was given to me. What purpose is there in avoiding destruction then? The only option I feel are whether my wish die with me or whether it is stolen away. I ain't gonna let you destroy me. And not just because I don't want to be destroyed. I... The moment I focus my concentration, the rim of the limiter of my own boat weaponry, I sense an unknown strength rise within me. Directly afterward, something that cannot be quantified fills my body and the surrounding area. Huh? First, it fickle suddenly stop. The researcher stop gets off one after another. Shock. This reading is it on the verge of a persona reaction? Shit, it's awakened. Ah, oh, damn it! Why now? Well, at least this proves that mental stress is the key to activating a persona. Who cares about that right now? It's not fully awakened yet, but with it still unstable, we don't know what it's capable of. I am intrigued by their statement. Persona. He knew that we had the means, but I was not aware of controlling anything. 
I do not know if I could be called power, nor do I know how to use it. But I can tell that the others are free. I seize the opportunity and run toward the main gate. There's a slightly possibility that I can reach the door without attracting any gunfire right now and fall over the door with my legs and chain arms. The moment I reach the gate, I launch my chain arm toward the upper threshold of the door. But the moment the arms grab the ledge, something emerged. A much greater power touched the door as well. Suddenly the door crumbles like paper and large hole on the upper half. Now it's done it! We need to hurry! If it's that strong already, we won't be able to stop it once its persona completely awakens! That's... persona. But I quickly regain my sense. I burst out of the facility and single-mindedly jump outside. My feet touch the ground of the outside world for the first time. They will most likely not let me escape. Fortunately, the door is badly damaged. It should take time until it can be open enough for a vehicle to pass through. I need to get as much distance and time as possible and... And then... It is then and I realize I do not have a destination in mind. Who is this girl 024 wish to see? Where can I go to meet her? The only clue I have is the idiosyncrasy of the girl's speech. I have learned that distinct speech patterns are often associated with specific regions. Should begin by traveling to where that style of speech is common. It is reckless, but I feel confident. At the least, I can get closer to the girl that I am now. Although my situation is dire and I am under pursuit, I internally I am cheerful. There's bonds in my staff. For some reason, I cannot remain calm. Very, very good, very, very good.